Yeah, Alex goes, don't cheap on your education. I think fucking it, my investment club is already fucking too expensive. No, it's too expensive. Two hundred dollars. That's not expensive. So many people go, oh, you guys are too expensive. Two hundred dollars a month is too expensive. I just don't know what to tell you. If someone gave you a Gucci belt for two hundred dollars, so you'd be fucking like, oh god damn, it's cheap. But what did that Gucci belt help you do? Nothing. You're just fucking an idiot. So do not cheap on your education, but I think it, MIC is too cheap, too inexpensive already. So, anyways, let's start. IG Live, guys. We want to be MIC is the goal is to be an alternative for college. So many people have changed their lives with two hundred dollars a month at MIC. And you know what we did this month? We since Memorial Day, Alex did a sell half price. The first month now. It's half price. There's really no, so what, 97 bucks or something? So now there's really no excuse, guys. If you're here listening to the IG Live and you're not in MIC, 97 bucks, man. Um, I think there's a link somewhere, Alex, or better yet, DM or text Tosh. Text Tosh, he will totally help you out. Maybe even give you a discount on annuals or whatever else. So there's really no reason now. You can't say it's too expensive. We've proven that it fucking works. We have so many members that are kicking ass. You don't hear anything really bad about MIC, except from the fake trolls, except from the pumpers. <laughs> Every time a stock goes down from a pumper, they blame me. They go bow and the MIC guys are shorting it. True or false, I don't give a fuck. I just don't pump to people. I don't dump to people. I don't. Even, you don't even know what I'm in until I'm out. <laughs> but anyway, so with that in mind, that's a good thing. So I want to tell you a story, guys. I'm being cheap, okay? We did this Memorial Day sale so that everybody has no excuse about joining MIC because it's too expensive. And I'll tell you how too expensive works. I'm not gonna mention any names because this happens often and we recently had someone, a couple guys say the same thing. So they left MIC because it was too expensive. So they think they, so they joined, so everybody joins MIC first to learn and then they think they can, they go, okay, I learned this stuff. I'm a fuck, you know, I know what I'm doing. And then they go, but for $200 a month, what the hell? I've been joining this other community. That's only charging $70 a month or $100 a month. And you know what? I go, good luck. Good luck to you. They always come back, blown up accounts. This happened. Just listen to this. This happened recently. And this happens every single week, guys. They would always come back to me and ask me for a discount, crying. Bow. Oh my God, you're right. I blew up my account. And they go, why are you asking? And they're like, I need someone to talk to, Bow. Can you call me on the phone? Can you talk to me? Can Alex talk to me? Can Tosh talk to me? And I'm just asking, so you left MIC to go to this other Furu guy because he was cheaper. And then I see you posting all these props to that other guy. And now you blew up your account because you followed him. And you're begging me to call you on the phone to, to talk you down from the ledge. And I'm like, why don't you go talk to the mentor, fake mentor, that you're paying money to? Oh, because he doesn't reply to me. And when he does, it's just a really one quick sentence. He doesn't really talk to me. I really know what he talked to about my losses. He doesn't really have risk management. So I blew up. And I'm just thinking, what the fuck, man? You're paying this guy. You're not paying me, but you're coming, asking me to get on the phone with you, to drop what I'm doing, to reassure you, to talk to you. And I'm like, that makes absolutely no sense. Why are you in the other room? And then all they do is this. It's, it's like a Stockholm Syndrome. You know what Stockholm Syndrome is? Stockholm Syndrome is when the victim, the captive, feels pity for their capturer for their abductor, for their abuser, Stockholm Syndrome, look that up. So, someone's raping you, someone kidnapped you for a year, and then I'm trying to save you, but all you're doing is defending your captor. You're like, hey, he's not a really big bad guy, man, he's not a really bad guy. That motherfucker raped you, held you hostage, and now refuses to talk to you after you lost all your money, and he's not a bad guy? I don't know. I don't know how to slap you. If I can reach out through my fucking phone and slap the stupid out of you, I will keep slapping the stupid out of you.
Stockholm Syndrome. Look that shit up. If your mentor is not fucking talking to you, that's a fucking problem. Do not defend them. We are here helping you. I'm even helping people that are not in MIC. You know, these guys I've known for years online. But you know what the fucking problem is? They know that they, they can come to me at any time and ask questions. They do not value me. Because I'm giving out free information. All day long, I'm giving out free information. People don't value free shit. Maybe we're going to change it to $2,000 a month. And I guarantee you, people will sign up. There are services out there that are charging you $8,000 just to meet the motherfucker. You want to meet the guru? $8,000 bucks, and people pay. But since we're so accessible and you see me all the time, you take me for granted. You take Alex for granted. You take MIC for granted. You do not appreciate us until you fucking lose all your money and got scammed. And all of a sudden, you come back home. I'm just like, dude, I'm going to help you, but it's fucked up shit. You know? Maybe it's time to raise the money, Alex. Seriously. Maybe you can't all fucking meet me. <clears throat> so I met, <clears throat> so I went, this is a true story. So I just went to Las Vegas. I went to Las Vegas and I met three guys who are members. And one guy, the first time I met him, he's shaking. He's like, oh my God, I cannot, I believe I've met you. I go, why? I'm just a normal guy. He goes, you know how long? I, so he was paying thousands of dollars, many times more than MIC. Many times more than MIC to be in some sort of uh, mentorship program. I'm not going to mention the person. But there, he goes, I tried to email them, text them. How much does it cost? What will it take for me to meet you, man? Like he wanted to meet his mentor. He's totally into trading. And he's surprised I met him. So he went to the Las Vegas <laughs> casino, met me up just for half an hour. And he's shaking. He goes, I cannot believe it, man. You're like a superstar to me. I'm like, that's just a normal motherfucker. I'm in a casino getting drunk. I'm just a normal guy. He goes, you will not believe how many times I've tried to talk to my last mentor. And I've never met him in person. These are the type of shit. So... Fuck you. Whoever fucking you leave, you get the fuck out, you don't come back. Okay? If you're going to go to some other fucking place and they fucking blow up your account, do not come back to me. You're like dead to me. Seriously. You know why? That other motherfucker won't fucking talk to you. Because he's a scammer. These, anybody that want to meet you is a fucking scammer. I'm not afraid to walk on per, in, in public. I have not done anything but wrong. You imagine. You imagine if you fucking paid someone eight grand... And that motherfucker blew up your account and he doesn't want to talk to you. You would fucking try to find him and kick his ass. And you imagine how many thousands of people do that. And here I am helping you, talking to you, and you don't respect me enough. And you fucking leave MIC to join this other motherfucker and you lose all your money. And now you're begging for a discount? Fuck your discount. I'm going to raise the price for you only. It's unbelievable. So, the fact that you're here listening, you already know that MIC is the fucking works. You know that we fucking care. What the fuck is the problem? The problem is we are too accessible. People take us for granted and we're free. We're considered free. So if something is free, so I'm never going to do free again. Maybe once in a while Alex sneaks it up. Like Alex did a free thing the other month. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, right? Because Alex is nicer than I am. I, I, I am I, as I get older, guys, I am less patient. I'm less patient. I don't deal with this shit. So Tosh always tells me, pal, calm down. Whoever you don't want to talk to, send it my way. Because Tosh is the fucking man, man. Tosh is the most level-headed, calm guy. And I'm, I'm the Mr. Fuck you, fuck you. I don't give a fuck. But, you know, I really care. And that's because I've fucking done this for 20 years. I've helped people with so many fucking years that it's like, fuck. Hey, right, right there, Mr. JC. You know, he hooked me up, him and uh, his buddy up in the wind, see? JC, shout out to JC. You see, we, we knows, man. It's like, dude, we're normal people. We're appreciative. You know, he helped, he helped me out. So that's that's what it is, man. If you fucking leave MIC, you blow up, don't come back. Fuck you. You lost all your money, you fucking deserve it. When you come back, you better fucking not ask for a discount. Why did you not ask the next guy for a discount? Why are you using me? To try to fucking jump ship because you think that I taught you enough. We are the guru's guru. You know how many motherfucking gurus I, I taught how to do this shit? And they still don't fucking understand because I saved the best shit for MIC. 
Why is it that no one is willing to do a meetup except MIC? Why is it that I'm the only one that meets fucking their members? Why is it that Alex and I take them to lunch? Why is it we're not afraid to walk around? Because we're fucking real guys. Why is it that I- I'm the only one posting fucking charts on Twitter? Think about this. Fuck the PL. I can fucking brag PL all the fucking day I want. You know what the worst motherfuckers like fucking almost blow up their account, their entire account? They fucking revenge trade and then they get out of it and they think they're the best shit. Meanwhile, all the members are blowing up. The members do not fucking have the, the balance size, the equity in their account. And they're, because all they care about is themselves, you fucking idiots. You guys are fucking idiots that are joining these other motherfuckers. You guys are idiots. These guys don't even post a chart. You look at their trading, dude. Fuck the PL. Motherfuckers are down big. Their entire account. They go all in and they think they're good traders. They may be able to trade themselves out of a hole, but you cannot. This is the problem with that other motherfucker. He fucking blew up because they don't teach risk management. All they teach about is PL. And then you know what it is? They treat you like sheep. They don't give a fuck. They're out there pumping shit on the microphone. I'm the only one that stays the entire fucking day from 5 a.m. until fucking the market closes. And I even on after hours, 24 hours a day answering questions. These motherfuckers take naps. They fucking like, I got one, I see a fucking fruit pumper. They lose and they fucking just turn off the fucking screen within 10 minutes of the open. I see everything. I, we subscribe to everything. Cause I short all their fucking bullshit. Ooh, I'm gonna take a quick break here, man. This, this, this thing pisses me off, seriously. Because you know what, man? I knew this guy's gonna blow up. I, I'm like, fuck. I'm gonna let him have enough rope to hang himself, and he hung himself. When he joined the MIC, he was kind of like, "Bow, thank you, thank you. You fucking helped me. You thank me." The moment he became consistent, the moment he became started getting money. The moment that he started learning from us, he jumped ship. Because he thought he knew it all. Because you know why? We don't post these fucking giant ass P&Ls. We teach you to fucking trade for real. So he thought that he could jump ship and now start making millions of dollars. But you're just a fucking idiot. You cannot level up from level one to level a million, guys. Look at Alex, 25 years old, making fucking a million and a half this year already. You're not fucking happy making a million dollars a year? You fucking idiot, dude. Oh, damn it. So, you know what, man? Everything happens for a reason, guys. Trading takes a long time. You need a mentor that fucking cares, that teaches you the proper shit. This is not get rich quick. If you want to get rich quick, buy Dogecoin. Buy that shit, 70 cents, hoping it's going to hit $10,000. Oh, man. I... I Man, when I when I see those fucking messages, I, I just want to reach out and just slap the stupid out of people. But you know what, man? I don't want to get infected by the stupidity virus that they have. You know, maybe they need to put on a fucking mask. But that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, okay? Level up slowly, properly. A, a fucking big time chat room pumper started to talk about what I preach every single day for the past 15, 20 years. Slow and steady wins the race. Go to my Twitter. You're going to see $200 a day. It's $50,000 a year. 200 bucks a day. That's all you need. $50,000 a year. $4,000 a day is a million a year. All of a sudden, he's talking about, oh, $5,000 is a million dollars a day. That's a good day. I don't need to make $20,000 a day anymore. I don't need to make $50,000. If I make $5,000, that's a good day. That's a million dollars. I'm like, no shit, motherfucker. I've been preaching that forever. <clears throat> but the fact that he started talking about that now, it's because he loses every day. He used to stay for a long time, but now the moment he loses, he turns off the computer and he runs away like a little bitch. You know why? Because the only reason people join is for his giant P&Ls. If he has a red P&L, no one's going to join. He doesn't teach anybody anything. It's called a pup and dump room. Okay? You need sheep to replace the old sheep that were too stupid. Once the sheep gets slapped, they fucking lose their money. They come to MIC begging for a discount. Begging for a discount. I'm like, what the fuck is your money? I got scammed at the other fucking room. I was chasing, hot keying, and he kept on adding to a loser. And he says, oh, I'm committed. I'm the best trader. And then he brags at the end. I lost all my money. I fucking stole at the bottom. And then he brags that he fucking took double the size where I got out. 
And he goes, you stupid. You should hell. You should add more. That is not a real mentor, guys. A real mentor wants you to succeed. A real mentor is not there to brag how big his dick is. I don't need a big dick. I'd rather have a vagina. The vagina will eat the dick. You know? <laughs> Fuck, if I had a fucking vagina, bro, and a pair of titties, I wouldn't need to work. <laughs> Jokes aside, but you know what I'm saying, man? The way... You take a look at really successful people, man. I know really, really successful people. They're humble. You even know that they make money. They're not out there bragging about all their stats all the time. Fuck you and your stats. Where were you last year before you had a pump and dump room? Oh, wow. Look at the, the cloud. It's fucking amazing. It looks like a halo. It's like, am I fucking like an angel? Wow. It's like the heavens are coming down. The halo. <laughs> but you know what, man, guys? Jokes aside, you know who cares about you, who doesn't, okay? It's not about the fucking money grab. If we want a money grab, we'd be pumping alerts. I'll get on the microphone, but we don't do that, guys. Oh. And you know what, man? That's, so, so what I did today, I missed Friday and I missed Monday, so I went to the watch list that Alex provides. And in the watch list, I'm watching what Alex is doing. And I'm just fucking following what he's doing. Because you know what, man? I missed yesterday. I don't know what's move, move, going on. So SCPS, take a look at my chart. SPCS, straight off of Alex's watch list. Dead on the spot. 1050 line, Alex. Put. Now all I did was I put 1050. You know what I did? You know what I did? Initially I put nine a uh, ten dollars. That FOMO. Then I looked at Alex's watch list and now I was at 1050. So I deleted my order for ten dollars. Because if I was in at ten dollars, I might have got squeezed. So the watch list pays for itself. I made SPCS. I had 2,000 shares. I fucking did. I did okay. So the watch list pays for itself. Mentoring pays for itself. I don't know what else. Maybe I should bring on Alex. Alex, let me bring you on to talk about everything else. Raise your hand, Alex. Let's see where you are. If Alex doesn't come on, someone else can come on and talk about their experience. But I miss talking to you guys. I miss this man. I fucking I, I love trading, man. I try to add Alex to see if he comes up. What's up, bro? Hey, brother. How you Holy doing? Shit. Holy shit, your beard got big, bro. Yeah, bro. There's a lot of noise, a lot of construction happening here. Let me show you around real quick. So there. So Alex, check awesome out this, Alex's lights. fucking nice little penthouse here. Yeah, there's a lot of construction happening out here. Look at this shit. Everything is like all fucked up. So you might hear some loud noises. But anyway, bro, what's up? What's going on, man? I was telling them I missed a couple of days, and then I checked your watch list. It helped me a lot. Pays for itself. I ranted some stuff. What am I missing here, man? <laughs> no, bro. It's just it's just the truth. This is, sorry, I want to show everyone like my mobile setup real quick. I bought yeah, this that. computer from Best Buy. I bought it for like I basically went in. I asked them for like a gaming computer, and I bought it for like fifteen hundred bucks. And this is the computer that I had the GameStop trade on. So so far so good. It's been going really well. How much? Well. You, how much is that fifteen hundred dollar? Computer paid you off, do you think? Probably like, I don't know, like half a million dollars, maybe more. <laughs> so right there, guys. So what? Alex lives in New Jersey. You know, he, he, he goes to the Miami a lot. And he's like, fuck this shit. I'm going to buy a fucking computer and just leave it here. <laughs> yep. I have I have literally, bro, like literally, dude, they got some baby wipes here. And just like a computer right by the sink. Just so that I have <laughs> something set up so I could trade. And, you know, today got paid out. Baby wipes? Is that for the... The porn or what? <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. And then we have like a little puppy here. We have like a little bit of uh, puppy here too. <clears throat> oh shit, is that a new dog? Yeah. Is that a pug? It's a bulldog. French oh, bulldog. Beautiful. What's her name? Uh, boy's name, Albert. Albert. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. What's yeah. up, Albert? Albert Einstein. So what's up? Albert Einstein. So what's up? Well, why don't we do some questions, bro? I'm sure people got questions for us. So let's answer some questions. Yeah, let's do it. So, all right, guys, put your questions in the chat and let's start answering. So, text Tosh uh, while you guys are texting the questions as well. Tosh will help you answer any question. And uh, yeah, tell them about the sell real quick, Alex. Don't, yeah, don't be like these other guys, man, that try to save $100 and end up blowing their accounts. You know, there's one thing that you never want to be cheap on, and it's your education. I mean, that's why we're running this half-off sale. So, again, guys, your first month is going to be half-off. Just hit up Tosh, 213-458-5997, and he'll hook you up but i mean there's no really 
better opportunity to learn than right now. I mean, I don't understand why people don't at least try us out. Uh, but anyway, it's, we, we talk about that, so I want to kind of answer some questions. Yep, any, any questions? No, nothing's off limits, guys. This is a no holds what, barred question. What age did you start trading? So I started trading at 19 years old. I've been trading for almost seven years now, seven, eight years it almost feels like, which is crazy. Yeah, I started trading when I was 19 years old, and my advice is start as early as possible because you want as much time as possible while you are young to get this because – you know, the older you get, the more commitments you might have. Maybe you have a family. Maybe you have kids. It's hard to focus. But the younger you are, the better it is to start. Now, also, notice Alex started when he, when he was 19. But he did not become successful right away. You guys are too Absolutely eager not. to try to become successful right when you start. You know, level up right. So how many years? Tell him the pains, Alex. How much you lost? How much you blew up your account? You know, the days that you're, like, fucking crying, you know, shit like that. Yeah, I mean, bro, it's the truth of the matter is we didn't have MIC. We didn't have true mentorship when we were starting. So we basically just had to lose money until we figured it out. And to be honest, like, I my first year, I lost money because I was taught that I should be buying the breakout. Everyone told me that buy the breakout is a strategy. I bought the breakout, the stock fucking tanked. Uh, year two is when I discovered shorting. And when I discovered shorting, I – was like, hey, if I just keep buying the stock and it goes straight down, why don't I just short it where I would buy and I would make money? So my second year is when I broke even. And then by the third year of trading is when I start to make a little bit of money. And by four or five is when I start to make a lot of money. So it took me about three to four years to get it without a mentor. But in MIC, there's people like Faye that are getting it in one month. There's people like James that are getting it in six months. Tom Diesel getting it in six months. So the point is, guys, that you want to be surrounded by the people that get it, by the people that have made every single mistake in the book. Bao and I have lost hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to figure this shit out. So that you do not have to. I I think millions for me. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but that's the key. You're you're not paying to join to learn how to trade. You know what you're paying for? Besides that, you're paying for the experience. You're paying for for the fact that you don't have to lose a million dollars. You don't have to lose $25,000 to learn this shit. So the money you're paying actually is, is to prevent you from having to repeat the same mistake that Alex and I did. Yep. It's the same thing. I'll give you another example. Like another thing is like I've been trying to get more into exercise and I hired a personal trainer. And the reason why I hired a personal trainer is because I want to be able to be trained by someone that's already made mistakes, that knows what works, that knows what doesn't work, is someone that pushes me to get better. And to me, that's like an investment in myself. I am investing in my body. I'm investing in my own health. So it's the same thing with finding a trading mentor. You want to find someone that has made every single mistake in the book so that you do not have to lose your money. And one more thing. If I was fucking a trainer and I'm a fat ass, what are you going to say, right? So you pick someone that is actually doing this for a living full time, that loves what they're doing and lives that, and lives that life. The reason I say this is there's so many – Guys, that just got started trading, and now they're experts. They're making yeah. YouTube fucking channel videos. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? You just started fucking trading. You're not even consistent yet. You're not a full-time trader. You're, you're fucking – you pretend to be an expert, and that's the problem in our community. Okay? People, people do not trust that anybody yeah. can trade. You know, you know how hard it is for me to convince someone? I don't even want to convince them anymore that trading is not gambling. Yeah. You know? And so because you have so many motherfuckers that all they do is they scam people. That makes our industry look bad. So, same thing with the trainer example. If someone started trading a year or two year, years ago, how the fuck can they be a fucking mentor? Correct. The fuck? Or how can you be I mean, a mentor when the first thing you did is not make money until you had a pump room, bro? <laughs> exactly, man. So, okay, what's the next question? Hey, I want to say heads up to James, Mr. Fatum. I saw you come in here, man. Congratulations on your thing with Twitch. If you guys are into gaming, check them out, Phantom Lord. <laughs> What's up, James? This is a view, bro. Anyway, do you guys have any more questions? Um, tell oh, them, I got to have you come to Miami and play some full send poker. Oh, shit. That's sick. <laughs> That's, sick. That's sick, right? That's sick. There's James right there, man, Phantom Lord. Um, but dude, yeah, dude, I've got to come back and play some fucking full set. So tell them what's coming up. 
How about do a sneak peek preview of what's in store for MIC? Sure. I mean, like, so number one, guys, is we want the plan to have meetups again soon. Uh, I know there's a lot of COVID stuff happening, so we're trying to figure out kind of logistically what's happening there. But I mean, the next big thing that we're going to be working on is we want to throw another live trading event. So our three-year anniversary is coming uh, in August. So we're planning to do another event where you guys can basically uh, join a virtual conference because we don't really we don't feel comfortable doing the in-person yet. But basically, you could join a virtual conference where you can watch me and Bao trade live. So instead of seeing people pump and dump, you're going to see us kind of bounce ideas off of each other. You guys are going to see uh, how we trade things, what we do. And I mean, last year was an awesome success. So I'm excited to do it again. Maybe we'll do it in person only for a lifetime, guys, maybe. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so, hey, give, give us a sneak peek of what's coming. You want, maybe we shouldn't say it, right? But there's big stuff coming, guys, that we, we are giving back to the community. So, yep. Yeah, we can keep yeah. all that stuff top secret for now. <laughs> but just know, once you're in a community, dude, it, it's a lot of great things that's going to happen. I want to start the meetup as soon as possible. I met three yeah. guys already when I went out. I, uh, the, the world is yeah, becoming okay again now, yeah. in my opinion. So, all right, Slowly man. but surely, we'll get to it. So, so tonight is... Tonight Joe is Kelly's Joe's webinar. webinar, yeah. So we have a webinar for large caps and options every Tuesday at 7 p.m. market time. So we teach large caps, we teach options, we teach small caps, we teach swing trading. We also have a Spanish-speaking channel. So if you guys don't speak English, one of our moderators, Claudio, runs our international channel for swing trading. So you could just learn everything in Spanish, too. So, so that's one thing that we, I don't really touch upon. Uh, pattern day trader, in order to day trade all full-time, more than three trades a week, you need to be over 25000 But with options, you do not need to. Correct. So that's why we started an options trading. And we have a lot, of consist a lot of consistent, awesome options traders, guys. So if you want yep. to learn large caps and options, come and join MIC as well. So I mean, if we really it. wanted, we could have charged extra for the options class. But to be honest, when you join MIC, you get everything for free included. So when you join... Just type in options basics into the video library search bar, and you're going to get a full series of how to buy calls, how to buy puts, you know, covered calls, covered puts, how to hedge against your portfolio, all that stuff. Yeah, so last night, I'm, I'm, I'm wrapping up by telling you what, what another fucking idiotic shit last night. Uh, so many stupid people out there. You know, the reason that the people are stupid is not because of their fault. It's because of the guys that present themselves to be mentors and gurus that make make them feel like, you know, like they're, they have to ask these questions. So a guy that last night asked me, what's your win rate, pal? I'm just like, I know why he's asking me that. Yeah. Because he's comparing me to someone else. And I'm fucking I, just kind of like yeah. bitching at him. Like, you know what, man? I'm like, win rate. I'm, so I explained to him, win rate means shit. You can have a 99% win rate, but that 1% Correct. will blow you up. Correct. Being, being exactly. 99% win rate means meanless. But but he finally got around to telling me, oh, that's because some other guru is posting how awesome his win rate is. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I'm like, all right, man. So I I basically told him this. I go to the other room. I do not want you in my room. Go to the other room, blow the fuck up, and then you come back and you tell me how important that win rate is for you. <laughs> They're going to come back and ask for a discount, bro. I guarantee you. So, yeah, man. So don't make the same mistake, guys. You know? Fuck these motherfuckers that are trying to sell you the lifestyle. That's number one. So the more, so that's the thing. So the old way of doing sales is to sell lifestyle, but people caught on to that. Now the next thing people are doing is just posting these giant P&Ls. But people yeah. understand that there's one guy only making that money from a pump and dump low float bullshit. Correct. And most people, fucking... I don't know about most people, but they don't got tens of millions of dollars in their accounts, bro. I trade and you trade with what, like 35, 40,000 and we pull out five six thousand a day so i mean to me pulling out four to five thousand dollars a day on a thirty thousand dollar account is more valuable than pulling out a hundred grand on a 15 million dollar account it's not replicable you cannot repeat that strategy yeah, it, it's not and, and i guarantee you they did not make that money prior to having a pump and dump room yeah so, anyway guys see for yourself guys. try it out see for yourself yep hit up tosh uh go to our website more information on our website People keep asking me, us, how do you sign up? Myinvestingclub.com, guys. Myinvestingclub.com. <laughs> <laughs> and check out the test bills. I'm going to post more today. I've been away, so I didn't post it. So, hey, thanks yeah. for attending. I'll see you guys back in the room. Later, guys. Thanks, Alex.